Well, welcome back. I'm moving on to step five. Um, you've got the brake hubs and the suspension assemblies complete from step four, which is left and right. So you just glue them, the little pin on the bottom of the um, suspension coils into the bottom of the chassis there and there. You've got the armatures from the prop shaft, drive shaft, that was going to the, the little circular ends going to the circular holes in the back of the brakes. So that's that. Then you've got A3, uh, B10 glues into the back of A3. A3 is white. B10s, you've got the outer armatures there, uh, black. You've got the gold, silver mixture for the, the um, clips. And then you've got the TS26 white, which I've just sprayed, painted it in white. And that just glues onto the back of there. And then that glues into a couple of pinholes there from underneath the brackets. So that's all that assembly there. Uh, third part of step three, you've got an A20 like C shape bracket that's white with the outer square bracket in black. And then you've got two armatures A12 twice, uh, the little brackets there, C shape bracket, that was a white with the green for the arm and then the pinhole bracket there at the back that's black and that was just mounting to there and then you push that down so that's all that assembly there um on the bottom of the top of the bottom of the brakes it's like a little square tab i had to widen the hole slightly in the bottom bottom of the uh, a20s brackets there once i've widened those they went down a tree so i just glued it there 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 and there four times you got the A12 armatures, those glued from a pin all there into the top of the brake hubs, the brackets from A20 there and there. Then it tells you to put the rear the, the rims into the tires, which I've done. And then step six, I haven't quite done that with mounting the wheels on yet. But you've got three decals on the rims themselves, and then you've got the Michelin stroke pilot. So that's all me completed top rear rims and tyres. You can see the decals, Toyota, whatever the hell that is, and speed line. Then you've got the Michelin pilot, so I've got all them unsealed. So all I've got to do now at the next step is just put the rims and tyres onto the brake hubs, as it says in step six. Right, I've done some work on the Corolla. Firstly, I've put the uh, wheels and tyres onto the uh, chassis now. Just put them into the, inside the little pin inside the actual rim. Manoeuvred that into the um, back of the brake hub, if you remember from that polyprop sleeve, and just twisted those and pushed them at the same time till they went all the way in. And that was a lovely and secure, no glue required. So that's those done. I've done a bit of work on step seven, mainly just getting all the parts painted before I mount them into the chassis for the interior. So you've got A4, which is some kind of electrical box. I've painted that in the uh, brownie, the what was it, the brown orange, the 36185. Then you've got silver for that piece. You've got the uh, driver pedals there. So you've got silver and black. Take that away. Then you've got six and eight for the driver foot wells with the fire extinguishers. I'll put decals on that one. That didn't have a decal, unfortunately. And you've got this panel here. That's uh, black with the uh, aluminium painted on by hand. Uh, you've got the gear shifter there. That's all painted. I've had to take a couple of bits off the sprue so I could spray them. You've got B7, which had to be spray painted in white. Once that had dried, then I've got to paint that little um, rod there in black then you've got b21 i spray painted that in the halfords gloss black and then just picked out the details by hand uh, then you've got the uh, radiator fans now that is in two parts you've got b25 which glues into b26 let the glue dry then i painted the fans in the black uh, aluminium for the actual casing and then you've got the little armatures there which are in the blue 
So now I've painted all these, all these bits. I'm now ready to start the assembly of step seven on the interior. Right, welcome back. Um, another update on the Corolla. And I've done all the interior work, as it says, in step seven. So I've cut all the bits off that I painted on the sprues on the previous update and those are now glued inside the interior. You've got the uh, the two uh, driver foot wells, you've got the uh, driver foot pedals, uh, the handbrake you know, gear shift assembly. Well that could be the handbrake, I'm not sure. Um, you've got that little electrical box there and this silver plate. You've got that uh, B7 piece where I painted it white with the black bit on the top. You got the uh, what was it B21 in the back there. That's all nice and glued in. Um, I had to widen the holes in that slightly, and the driver foot well I had to widen the holes underneath that slightly. Uh, the radiator is now glued in now. Um, in those little square channels with the hole, I had to widen the square channels slightly. Um, but once I've done that, all that is glued in lovely. So that's the interior done for the moment. And uh, I'm now going to start on step 8. And I've already painted the uh, bucket uh, racing seats in the anthracite, which is the 36109. So the, the racing seats now are ready for decals. Right, welcome back. I'm now starting work on the uh, racing seats. As it says in step eight, so you've got all the decals and that, and then you've got to mount them into the interior. So I've got the decals on. You've got the say belt decals down the back of the seat, which are 31. You've got the, the seat, the three point harness seat, harness on the bottom part of the seat, which is 47. I don't know how well it brings it up with my flash on. You've got like a Toyota logo there in the red. And Moya. For, um, Lewis Moya, Carlos Sainz's co-driver. On this one, you've got Carlos Sainz's name, which is just Sainz. The red Toyota logo and the Sparco there. And then last but not least, on the front part of the seat, you've got the two Sparco decals. So I laid these down with the micro set, let that dry, um, went over with the micro saw, let that dry, and then sealed them with the Humbro satin coat. So I'm turning the flash off, there we go. So all I've got to do now is just put the decal, which is, num all I've got to do is number 64 twice, which is the big carbon decal. You can see the one that I've cut out there. I've still got to cut the other one out and put that on the back. And then there's just 53 for the Sparco decal. So I'm just going to put these on now on the back of there. Alright, welcome back. Um, I've now completed step 8. Which is just the work on the seats. And mounting them into the chassis. So... Um, if, from the previous update, you know I've done all the inside of the seat with the seat belts, the three-point harness part of the seat belt, Sparco Toyota, the Lewis Moyer decal, and the Carlos Sainz decal. So I've put the 64 on the back of the seat, which is the carbon pattern decal, and then the 53, which is the white Sparco decal. So I put my flash on. I don't know if you can make out the carbon pattern. Much like the uh, Mitsubishi one, I just laid it down with the micro set and then folded it round the, round the sides of the upper part of the seat and then round the sides of the lower part of the seat. Um, I had to nip them slightly on the corners because there was a massive fold. And then once I'd nipped them and let them dry, then I put my micro sole on it, sucked it not too bad into the seat. There's still a few little corners where I can't get them to sole down I've put it about three or four applications of the sole but they're not looking too bad you've got the two Sparco decals 
So I've sealed all those with the satin coat, let that dry. And then it's just a case of mounting, mounting them into the chassis. Now on the chassis, unlike the Mitsubishi, there wasn't no brackets or anything that I had to glue in. The chassis mounts are actually built into the chassis. <laughs> So it tells you to there's one there and there's one on the other side of each seat there's two for each seat and there's a lip like a c rectangular lip that goes inside the bottom of the seat and it just clicks into place i did put a drop of glue on the lip so then i've just mounted those onto the inside lip of the inside of the racing seat on the bottom so there's one there you can probably just make it out there and you've got the one for the car driver's seat so, like I said, we're putting the glue on, that's dried an absolute treat in these seats and solid. So again, that's step eight, complete. Right, uh, some more work on the Corolla. Um, I'm doing the dashboard and uh, the steering column as it stays in step nine. Now, the um, dashboard, I've painted that, it says German grey, which is XF63. I have used the Revel 36157 so you've got like the um, painting of the dashboard and the consoles and you've got to put the three assemblies for the steering wheel which is B13 for the steering wheel, B12 for the actual column and uh, what was that on B15 for like a shifter so that's that. Now the steering wheel, which is B13, glues into the back of B12. There's like a little raised uh, circle mounting tab that mounts into the bottom of the steering wheel. I had to widen the hole in the steering wheel slightly. Then you've got the shifter. Now the shifter, I might be able to actually put this, there we go. The shifter is like a C-shaped clip, which goes onto the back of the steering column. And then that, that comes out like that. And then you just push that onto the uh, little circular bracket on the, on, the, on the actual steering column. And that's it. I didn't even need to glue it. And that, uh, that's how it looks like that. So that's the steering wheel done and the steering column. Now the dashboard itself, like I said, I used the 36157 to paint the dashboard. It's got matte black for the other bits and bobs. Now, on the dashboard, which is B23, you've got to glue the B24 um, extra console on the top. So I painted that in the black and for the front screen, and then you've got the, the 36157 grey. Once that had dried, I then just, whack, just put a bit of glue in that hole, and then just held it down with a clamp, and then just went with glue and glaze around the edges. So that's that there, that's all done. Picked out the various colours, you've got the black for the, the actual centre console and a bit of silver, a bit of red to bring out those uh, buttons and dials. And then you've got three decals, you've got, uh, let me just switch that flash on. Right, you've got the speedometer which is number 70. Then you've got the Toyota Castrol logo, that one is 80. And then you've got the this console num console one here which is 75 and then on the steering wheel there's a decal right in the middle of there i think it's that tsr logo from the wheels and that one is 74 so that's where i'm sitting at the moment